So we're here at Har House after an amazing lecture with international master Igor Zugic, who used to be uh, a member of uh, Har House Chess Club, as well as a student in our university. Uh, so Igor, after the lecture today, uh, what did you think of the event? How did you like uh, the audience and the entire experience? I really loved it. The, the audience was very engaging, which I usually, as a presenter you always love to see that people are interested and they ask questions and uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm also like very happy to see that Hard House Chess Club has been thriving in the last like so since I've left. So it's good to see a couple of familiar place, faces around and a lot of new people as well. Awesome. Uh, so uh, thinking back uh, to your experience as a member of the Pan Am varsity chess team, uh, do you miss these days? It's been, it's been some time, but you've participated in a number of tournaments representing our university. Do you miss these days? Actually, one of your old friends was here in the audience today. He's still very active in the club. So what's your experience from, uh, from, from back then? Well, it was a very positive. Like, those tournaments were the ones that I would, like, really look forward to. It was like a lot of... Uh, you know, spending time with your friends, uh, being on like going to a cool place. I went to Miami once, went to Milwaukee, which wasn't as interesting, but at least it was like the experience of being around with, uh, with friends and just plays was really fun. Great. And uh, do you think that chess and uh, learning chess and uh, learning strategy, does that, do you think that can improve uh, a student's performance because this is a student environment? And uh, do you think that chess can make people, give people skills and qualities they need for their studies? Uh, I, think it, I think it can because it like really forces you, to, in order to get better, you have to like look at all aspects of it, see like really kind of like... Uh, uh, examine yourself, see where your weaknesses are, where your strengths are, and I think that gets applicable to all phases of life. So not just for students, but I think for everybody. Awesome. And uh, one last question. Uh, during your lecture, you mentioned that you've becoming uh, less active than you were before, but at the same time, you expressed some uh, interest in uh, becoming more involved again. And can we expect, I mean, in the past, you scored, I think, two Grandmaster norms. Can we expect you to maybe score a third one or, uh, you know, aspire to, to become a Grandmaster again? What are your plans as a chess player? Yeah, you know, that's always been uh, kind of unfulfilled uh Thing for me, but um, I'm hoping that one day I can uh, I can get back to it in in maybe like a year or two and really just, just try to give it one final push because you know I feel like I've had the strength for a long time. It's just that it's very hard when you're like balancing the the life and and work and everything. It's really hard to find that time. So I think it's not a matter of uh, it's not a matter of strength as much as a matter of like really just uh, dedicating your life for, for, for some period to, 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 yeah, to achieving it. And now obviously like this year I got married so my life has changed a little bit. And, uh, like, but thankfully you know, my wife has been very supportive so I think that you, know, you, could, you could see me uh, playing again pretty soon. Well, good luck in your future plans. Thank you very much for this lecture and for sharing your insights. We appreciate that a lot. Thank you.